You're listening to Left Up the Valley 2.0, Atheist, Skeptic, and Humanist Radio. Hi, this is Janice Selby, and I took a Left at the Valley. I know we shouldn't have to scream that we're atheists. You know, we don't have non-astrologers and all that. But with religious people taking over the world, I mean, we can either speak up or be pushed into a corner. I'm proud to be an atheist, a skeptic, a non-believer, an infidel, a heathen. I call it how I see it. I say it's ignorance, and you just call it faith and unsubstantiated claims. That's something to be ashamed. I'm an atheist. Coming at you from wet BC, run with scissors, Florida, power out Texas, and lick the coal pole, Minnesota. This is Left of the Valley 2.0. My name is Kevin, and let me remind you that every time you get dressed, remember, if you die, that's your ghost outfit forever. Joining me as usual is the team who saw Jesus face in a margarine tub and said, I can't believe it's not Buddha. No, yeah. <laughs> he thinks. He thinks change is inevitable, except in vending machines. Brett Lee. He's not there again. Or is he muted himself again? What the heck, Brent? <laughs> He'll tell you that eagles soar, but weasels don't get sucked into jet engines. Benjamin. Hello. I am not <laughs> muted. And she went to a place that serves breakfast at any time, so she ordered French toast during the Renaissance. Hertzy. Sparked a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> and this is brought to you by our new patrons, Charles Julier, who is uh, who doesn't cheat death. He just won fair and square against it. That's how good he is. <laughs> <laughs> you too can become a patron. Just go to patreon.com slash LETV and help us grow the show. Guys, welcome back. And today we'll be talking to Ian Harris in the second half of the show. But first, let's go with our usual chit-chat. In uh, medical news... Uh, a woman in New York City appears to have been effectively cur- cured of HIV after receiving a HIV-resistant stem cells and antiretroviral therapy. So uh, this is pretty cool news. Uh, this is this is the third person and the first woman to officially achieve this uh, HIV remission. Um, the treatment apparently, however, is risky and difficult to scale up, but they're working on it right now. Um, the team that treated her has presented their case at the Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infection, or CROI 2022. Uh, she was diagnosed in 2013 with HIV-1 and was treated using stem cells from a placenta, which is uh, actually unrelated to her uh, in the, 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 the placenta anyway. <laughs> um, but it had a rare CCRS <clears throat> slash Delta 32 slash 32 mutation that makes the uh, that makes the uh, the, uh, the the stem cells uh, HIV resistant. So, and at this point, she has uh, no detectable HIV after fourteen months. So that's fantastic news. Yeah, wow. medical that is stuff so have been cool. crazy. Have you seen this guy who got the pig hard? Yes, yeah. it, it, it's, it's incredible to think that you know, not even a hundred years ago, all of this stuff wasn't even possible. I mean, uh, fifty years ago. Uh, but by the time I was, you know, close to being born, you had a heart problem that was almost a death sentence. Now today it's a day procedure. You know, they, they could just get you in and out of there in no time. Oh and yeah, to see the progress. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why uh, you know people are living a lot longer now. They don't have to worry about it nearly as much if they have access to the medical. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah, to add that caveat there. <laughs> you only have that issue in the state, really. So <laughs> the rest of the world, well, maybe not the rest of the world, but the rest of the Western countries, anyway, they don't have that issue. <laughs> right? No, just us. <laughs> yeah, just us. Uh, in uh, it couldn't happen to a better guy. News: Donald Trump. And two of his crotch goblins will have to testify under oath in a civil probe. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's not going to go well. No, it's not going to go well. <laughs> He's really bad about incriminating himself. He seems to do it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> probe. Like a so, whole bunch. Just a probe. Just a probe. <laughs> we don't even need a probe. Like, you can just, just let him talk. Put, give him a stage. Yeah, pretty yeah. Much. <laughs> put him in front of people. Yeah, put him in front of people and give him some topics that yeah. are close to what you want <laughs> to learn. Just, He'll talk about it. Against Trump is himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was flushing all the documents in the toilet. Okay, we need better toilets. Right. You're, like, hey, you're flushing yeah. five, six times. And... So many times. That's totally so... not what he was talking about back then at all. No way. No way those two are related. <laughs> 
So despite all the efforts to stop the New York Attorney General from probing into the Trump family affairs, a New York uh, judge ruled on Thursday that the Trumps must answer under oath within 21 days. Damn. So uh, Judge Arthur, hopefully I'm not going to ask you this, uh, Angoron? One of the uh, New York Supreme Court of the New York Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Attorney General Larida James uh, to have the Don and Don Jr. and Iv- uh, Ivanka, 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 whatever his name is, testify. Yeah. Um, there is copious of evidence, uh, copious amount of evidence of possible financial fraud, uh, which gave the uh, Attorney General clear right to subpoena the Trumps, and that's what the judge said essentially. Nice. So of, of course, Trump's attorney is calling it a witch hunt. <laughs> I love when they call it a witch hunt. <laughs> not like Trump hasn't lied under oath before, so. Yeah. Any, anytime you go after anybody on the right for any reason, it's a witch hunt. Right. And whenever they go just... after the left, it's just justice. I thought left yeah. had all those Satanists and witches, so where are all these witches that we're hunting? <laughs> oh, are you talking about good old Greg Locke? And wicked. I could go with a whole, like, all of QAnon has a whole bunch of satanic oh. stuff. Okay. So Jane said that her nearly three-year investigation into Trump has uncovered significant evidence of possible fraud where inflation and deflation of Trump properties was used to secure loans and get tax write-offs. So that's what he's being accused of in the civil trial. Um, the judge declined to put the subpoenas on hold because while that's happening, there's also Trump is facing a criminal case. That's also, that's also led by the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin mm. Braggs, and that one is pending. So the judge decided, okay, well, even if you're being, because sometimes, you know, when you're facing a criminal trial, it's a lot to put a civil trial at the same time. Just said, I don't care. They're both going for it. Wow. You know what's great about the civil trial and the state trial? Neither of them can be pardoned. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. We, we might, uh, there, there's a very good possibility here, if this goes ahead and, you know, best case scenario is that Trump might end up losing pretty much everything. And the only thing mm. he's he left with his pension from being president. And uh, I think there's another pension that he also uh, got when he was doing The Apprentice. And he, that could he, be his only uh, uh, amount of money that he would actually receive. But he said he doesn't want the, the money for being president. He donated it all. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Stop it donating it. <laughs> he did. No, no. He did donate. When he was president, he donated all of his presidential income. He did. Like, that's the thing. Like so that should, he should keep doing that then, you know? And, right. Uh, like, you got to know the he was, just getting, he was getting special, uh, not special forces, uh, um, the, the security force that uh, protects the prisons. The, the secret service? Oh, secret, secret service, service. Yeah. yeah. He was getting secret service to stay at his hotels and all that. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got income dollars. in other ways. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Isn't the, the presidential um, salary just kind of... Um... 400000 a year. Oh, yeah, okay. So like it's that. not just it, a ceremonial it's... amount of... No. It's still pretty good. Yeah, I twelve dollars and thirty-seven cents <laughs> an hour. I remember, guys, this this is gonna be fun because I, I, I'm hoping this goes out forward because you gotta remember this is a family who's been barred from owning a charity in New York, yeah. right? <laughs> so, <laughs> New York. Of course, Trump is also saying New York's not gonna, gonna give me a fair trial. Uh, yeah, they, they're gonna give you as fair as you could possibly get. You know, <laughs> what do you right. want this? To Florida. <laughs> I mean, nothing's ever fair according to him anyway, so it doesn't fuck it, you know? I, I can't... Unless it's going his way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Right. laughs> like... And last, but, for, uh, but not, not least, from the CBC, and despite the conspiracies that the Prime Minister somehow fled to U.S. because of a trucker convoy, <clears throat> the Canadian government has decided they had enough. Yes! Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has taken a rare step of declaring a national public order emergency to end up to end what was uh, become an anti-government protest. Arrests, baby. Yes. So the group's public leaders have held regular news conference. Uh, organized have hired a lawyer to represent them in a, a nascent class action suit. Um, some leaders, like a Tamara Litch who actually led the Maverick Political Party. The Maverick Political Party is one of those little French political parties. They were trying to get the West to separate from the east of Canada. That's, That's right. The they, were, they were trying to get the, the three provinces from the West, BC, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, to secede from the rest of Canada. Which, yeah, no. Oh, but anyway. shit. Yeah. Uh, she's been arrested. Uh, another main organizer of the truck convoy uh, um, is uh, 
It's a group called Canada Unity, which initially published a memorandum of understanding calling for the end of the pandemic restriction. The group later withdrew the memo after it came under criticism that in part seemed to endorse the toppling of the government. We want the pandemic restrictions to cease, and then we also want the government to stop as well. <laughs> so, like, well, that will yeah. take care of it, right? You know, you just topple the government, and there goes all the mandates. Yes, so, the government's in shambles. No like, laws. <laughs> yeah, no laws, no laws at all. No laws at all. So on Wednesday, the Ottawa police ordered protesters to leave or face criminal charges. In Alberta, four protesters. In Alberta, there's also uh, some uh, low protests around the borders. Uh, and one of them is in Alberta. Uh, four protesters were charged with conspiracy to murder police officers in relation for what uh, the police describe as a plan to respond violently to police efforts to break up a blockade in Coots, which is a small village in, uh, in southern Alberta, bordering Montana. So the prime minister's emergency order, which is uh, as he has it's called, also seizing bank accounts. Yes, I'm getting to that, oh, which is called a last resort, <laughs> is in no way a limit on peaceful assembly of freedom or expression, but it has real teeth. It does allow the police to seize trucks and other vehicles using blockades. Tow truck operators must now work with the law enforcement agency or face arrest if they refuse. Insurance companies will be required to revoke insurance on any vehicle used in blockades. And the banks can freeze demonstration uh, demonstrators' personal accounts. The declaration, and, and the declaration must be approved by parliament within a week. So more than 100 people were arrested Friday. Uh, police form lines, and I've seen the, the videos of this, they, they essentially form lines and they simply started walking. And they're not even holding shields or some of them had batons, but that's about it. There, there was no like tear gas or anything like that. They were just basically formed a line, they started walking and pushing the people back. Hmm. Uh, more than 100 people were arrested Friday. Um, like I said, the, uh, the police lines advanced rapidly throughout the street of Ottawa and for, for, forced protesters away from Parliament Hill on Saturday morning. And according to the polls, anywhere from 65 to 75 percent of Canadians do not approve of this protest. Can I just also point out that the protesters, let's just talk about who these kind of people are. Wait, just wait, wait, for I'm getting a voice from the beyond. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on camera because I feel like crap and I need to be able to leave whenever I need, but I can be yeah. the voice in the podcast. Anyway, no, come on. Sure. Of course, was it, was it safe? Anyways, <laughs> the faces of these people. Let's. There was a picture I saw recently of a little boy playing lawn bowling on the streets. Part of this occupation, his parents had strapped a gas can to his back. Wow. What? Jeez. Why? Yep. Uh, it's kind of like a diversion tactic. It's it's not normal. That's weird. That yeah. is insane. It that may, well, that's the thing. So, if as a police officer, if you see a kid playing in the street. Yeah. And they have something strapped to their back. That's bad. And that may just be me with a, you know, very uh, USA kind of perspective on this. Because a lot of people come out of the military from Iraq and become cops. They're yeah. likely to freak out about that. Oh, yeah. Yep. That could be like uh, what PTSD like mm -hmm. <laughs> inducing, you know. And this is the kind of people that are out there. They're not there for any valiant reason. Yeah, yeah. Make, make, no, make no mistake. This is MAGA Canadian edition. Well, what, what has is. happened is the U.S. got a hold of this and fucking Q and the right took over. Like, the crazy yeah. people from down south have come and taken over. I also it, like oh, to point out something that Paul that I just mentioned there. Uh, 65 to 75% of Canadians do yeah. not approve, which yeah. means the 25 to 30% that do, that is the conservatives. That is the number we always well, quote here that we say one-third. That is that. One of the things I 30%. saw said 42% of Canadians might not agree with everything that they're saying, but they understand their frustrations. Yeah, so when that. they're saying that 60% don't agree, I think what they're saying is the other 40% understand the frustrations. Oh, yeah, I, and I that has absolutely nothing to do with actually agreeing with the protest, because I would venture that a lot less than 40 percent agree with no the protest. I, I understand everybody's got COVID fatigue I, yeah. i'm tired yeah. of it too. exactly we get it, it but like it. whatever but you know you know it, you guys it, did it, get it the COVID. so we didn't tell me to empty the dishwasher i don't lock myself in the garage of my truck and just honk yeah. you know, until <laughs> you know, in my way right yeah i mean yeah. i, have a I question, mean you should but... can you start doing that from now on <laughs> So real quick, I have a question. So we, we were just covering this on uh, Unapologetics. Nikki and I were talking about it. And I say I was under the impression that it was like 90% of the truckers were vaccinated, right? Yep. 
Okay. Yep. So eighty percent of all Canadians are vaccinated, and that's five years and up. Yep. Wow. So this so this ten percent is enough to disrupt all no, like the, the entire thing, chain. That's the thing. The, there's a lot of non truckers. That's that are the thing. There. It started with that. Yeah. But there's there's maybe like two hundred fifty trucks in there. If that. Mm. If that. The rest of the people are there. Are just like story regular, about right one guy. He's like, oh, I found out that one of my employees took my truck against my knowledge and is like on his way to some protest. So I just want you to know I've hired a private tow truck company. They're on the way to go get the truck and he can figure out how to get home. Oh, <laughs> <I'm fired. laughs> That's and awesome. Did, of course, in true Canadian fashion, he did still fire the guy, but he allowed the truck driver, you know, to drive the guy home. And, um, Anyway, uh, it, it ended with a true Canadian kind of feel good, but he's yeah. still fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But so, I mean, but but the the question is, so they're they're blocking the way physically, like people cannot yeah. get through, and yeah. so that's what's screwing up the supply chain stuff, well, right? Well, oh, yeah. well no, supply chain no, was already screwed before all this. Well, it's not just that. You got to remember that Ottawa is an old city, yeah, and just like every old city, they weren't really designed for truck driving. The roads are narrow. So when you come in with a semi in there, it doesn't take a lot to block everything. Right? Oh, really, okay. Imagine, you know. Uh, Is it like streets of Quebec kind of thing? Well, you know, it would be kind of similar, right? Okay. Or downtown uh, Vancouver. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. if you go in a place that, uh, uh, which is obviously designed for pedestrians and cyclists and a car, a few cars here and there, you come in with a couple of semis, you're blocking everything in no time, right? It wow. doesn't take a lot, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of time to do that. So. Oh, and they're okay. blocking things like bridges too. Yeah. Which have a finite amount of lanes, right? So yeah, it, it, it's it's really funny to watch these videos of you know people and the, the police. The police have been really kind of good at, on this. Uh, you know, they're not like shooting with rubber bullets or anything like that. There's not even tear gas, like I said. Are you, you trying to shame feel? Minnesota? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you should keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. King, King. There's, not even, there's not even shields or anything. So a few of them have their batons, and that's about it. You know, they're well, not whacking on people; they're just marching and just because the mandate back. is to like protest super peacefully, so that they could then claim police brutality. So the police are responding in kind, but still arresting them for not complying. Yeah, exactly. it's like walking into one of them. We're sorry. We're sorry about all this. We're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. Just we're sorry. Sorry. Okay. sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that, that, that's pretty much what's happening. There, so. Mm -hmm. so anyway, we'll see what happens with that. All right. <laughs> We don't want to tell you that. That's fuck. So you can well, hear it. You, know, <laughs> you don't hear your. You know, I was like talking to my wife, and she was uh, like, "I was going to go ahead and uh, have some sex with her," and so I had to go and buy a massive fifty-dollar drum of lube uh, because you know how that goes with women. Excuse me, I had to yak. It's got the best CD CDB oil, and uh, all you got to do is go in Shapiro at checkout, and all you got to. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you know, it was in, in the oil, you know, you, you just want to get the right oil, and you don't want to get like the you know crazy liberal oil because you know liberals love lube. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They don't like oil. They don't like oil at all. They don't, nobody's trying to get one. There is no such thing as lubrication, solar lubrication. It doesn't exist. You got to go with oil. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any right on hand. You can go to your car. Hey, there's a little dipstick in there, and you can just slick it up. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do, do that. that. No, please don't. Please don't, don't do that. No, 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 no. See, this is part of the reason I don't have a car. It doesn't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> All right.